So, chat, good news. The good news is, I found a way to press the full dynamic range button to turn it off. XSplit hit it in a weird spot with their update. So now, finally, the games will look normal. They were, like, way too blown out last time. So they're good now. Um, the other thing is, like I said, I'm trying to get audio so that it's less delay, and I haven't done that yet. But it's Donkey Kong Country 3. Chat, I will need some volume um, guidance. Just let me know. How's this? Wait a minute. Only an hour and a half? Is this the wrong thing? Did I load the wrong save state or something? Is it gone? Chat? Your suspend point should be good. When, when's the last time I played this game? Hang on. <sighs> Nintendo, what are you doing here? Videos, let me, let me just check. I'm just checking. Just want to make sure. Six days ago. Okay, that seems right. And I, I saved it. Okay, we're good. I just checked the top right. We're good. I had a small heart attack. It's the time, not the hour. Vinny, you have the boat. Where's the boat? Isn't this just a hovercraft? You're on it? This just looks like a hovercraft. Go into Funky with the boat. Okay. You found two skis. Awesome. I've now got all the something. Wait right there, Kongs. I'll get you the latest thing. The uh, turbo feature. It's a new heights. Just press Y. Yeah, that thing moves. K3? Crevice Keeper? You think that's a reference to that mountain? That's like called like what? K2 or something? Well, I don't know where Johnny cut to start this video on Full Sauce, but I'll just say you'll notice that the colors aren't, like, blown out anymore because I found the option in XSplit, which was hidden in a weird spot. They moved it, and it was, like, kind of at the bottom in a not-as-obvious place for full dynamic range. And it doesn't save your option. Now, I know people are going to do the thing, like, X. he's still using XSplit. It's poop. OBS still does not work for me. There is 
an unknown audio delay every single time I use OBS, and it just is different for every game, and it's really annoying, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, there was nothing down here. That's cool. So I guess I'll just put the uh, I'll put the word out here just for anyone who doesn't watch one thing or another if this is because of course you know this is live to like 5,000 people or so 6,000 whatever it is but when people watch it on full sauce there are more people that can maybe help that maybe have an issue um, that maybe have a similar issue that, that they can give me some advice about so uh, once again, and I'm sorry to repeat this on the stream, in order to fix the, the audio delay, I bought a device called an audio extractor, and that's going into, from the capture card, uh, audio extractor to capture card to computer. And I'm trying to get less delay but my Realtek audio drivers seem to be a problem and have delay on line in and microphone. I tested it, the device works perfectly in headphones and if it goes into my mixer, but it does not do what it needs to do otherwise. So I'm just asking the person that recommended this, maybe they have some advice. Um, I would prefer not to have to buy a new sound card and Realtek apparently sucks. So, yeah, vinesauce.email, if you... Good. Good. If you have any ideas, just, just drop me a line at vinesauce.email. That's a website, not an email address. Contrary to popular belief, that is not just a commercial submission form. Though, lately, it kind of feels like it is. Alright, now we can talk about Dong. God. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I am not a fan of these explosive barrels. Wow, cool hitbox. Yeah, I've heard a lot about these explosive barrels. Everything from their shit to their fucking shit. Problem is, I'm not really... Hmm. I'm not really fast enough to get over there. Throw it up into the opening and then gun it. 
That's what I've been trying. Chat, I'm, I'm committed to, to solving this problem. The fuck? Perhaps you need to do it from the other side. Oh, you fuck. I don't even- I- what am I even using these coins for? I'm not even using them. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Too fast! Whoa, too fast! Okay, I am no longer committed to solving this puzzle. I'm gonna try it three more times and then I'm done. You're actually slower if you do that. You can spin right at the end and that can do it. That's more than three times. <laughs> Chat, I hate it. Is this fucking pixel perfect? Do you actually have to do this pixel perfect? You need Kitty Kong to do it easier. Oh, alright, well then... Fuck anything to do with that. Cool, cool... Beans! That's my new thing, Chad. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that, like, a lot. Is that- is that okay? We went from Gormless to Atlas Earth, or from one to the other. Now I'm just gonna say cool beans all the time. I wanna be one of those guys. That's, like, my aspiration in life is to be a cool beans guy. Dr. Robotnik's cool bean machine. will say there have been some good levels in this game but overall it just makes me appreciate Tropical Freeze and DKC2 even more Just, I love how we've never seen this character again. 
since this game. <laughs> like, like they, they knew. They knew. He's in the Mario movie. Yeah, but like, there's like a thousand Kongs in the Mario movie. He is not confirmed to be in the Mario movie. Can't frankly save cave. this way. Tear away toboggan. Oh no, it's a mine. Is this going to be a minecart? Like a fake minecart sequence? P please don't be bad. Please be a good sequence. American. American debt. Th th fuck your hitboxes. That jump is going to be fun. You like fun, don't you, chat? Press the button. Now I pressed it too late, but I did press it. Oh.
I just kind of sounded like Nicolas Cage doing his boo-hoo cry for a second. At least that's what it sounded like in my own head. You just have to take damage there, I guess. No, that's not good. What a great noise. That That's as good as, or as annoying as some of my noises when I die in this game, even. thinking you can go through that house because some of them you can go through this my this, this, this go through this house no this house this this, this house the, you go through this house not this house some go through this like this house you go through not this house next house Not these holes. This one you go through. Level done. That's all I care about. Barrel drop bounce. I'll be honest, even people that love this game say that half the levels are shit. <laughs> From what I've seen. It's not, not everyone, obviously. Some people love the shit levels. But I'm just saying, I've seen that. I do think that there are more good levels than bad levels that I've seen so far. But I've also seen people be like, no, nah, Vinny, like half the upcoming levels are gonna be real bad. And I'm like, half, huh? Hmm. If, if half the levels in a video game are bad, does that mean that half of the game is bad? Surely not. But again, you know, people, people play co-op and getting over it and, you know, for many hours. So, I wouldn't want to yuck anyone's yum. God, I hate that phrase. Why do I- why do I keep saying that wretched phrase? Is there a better way to say that, chat members?
rain on anyone's parade. Yeah, but that's like... You know, I'm pretty sure they were saying that in the Victorian era. You could do better than that. Like, fucking President Taft probably said that. Piss on their barbecue. I say, usually, the other one I say is I don't want to shit on anyone's punch bowl. Shit in anyone's punch bowl. invincible for some reason. Some people say rappers are invincible. We're invincible. Some people say we are not rappers. We're rappers. I got hurt feelings. I've got hurt feelings. Someone said, please be more constructive with your criticism. Um, no, nah, level bad is all I can muster, I'm sorry. That was a Flight of the Concords joke. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh fuck. Here I am referencing Flight of the Concords. Person makes a reference to Flight of the Concords, and I'm like... Let me just respond to that as normal. Please be more constructive with your criticism. With, you know, everything getting a reboot, why, why can't we get more Flight of the Concords? Like, that show didn't need to end after only two seasons. Damn, this whole time this is gonna be happening. This is me whenever I see a spider. Just, the difference is I'm using a, a salt shotgun. No, you know what I do? Salt shotgun is for like mosquitoes and like bothersome flies, like liquid snake I was talking about. I have a a grabber that can grab insects, and it's got like bristles, and essentially um, it's designed, you know to grab insects. So I grab them, and then I just bring them outside. That way I don't have to like, you know, try to like grab an insect with like a paper towel or something. I just use that. And it's long too. It's like one of those like grab, grab hands. What is the thing that Nintendo made? Grab hand? Grab hand? What did they make, chat? They made something called um, like super hand or something. We're all- we're only at the O?! Ultra Hand, we were only at the O? I thought I was done with that level. I was fucking convinced that we were at the end of the level. Oh man.
sure I can get this fast. Actually, I no longer think I was near the end of the level. This is not really that much effort to get here. For those of you not used to watching me play platformers, this is very normal for me. Press LR to place a web under your feet. Yeah, but it, it doesn't like... button. There's a timing to it. You have to, like, kind of jump into it. There it is. Wow, I was that close to it. Here. Man, that would have been way more annoying. Well, I guess you could shoot the... You could shoot the bees. Was that the spider hurt noise? See that banana leading me into temptation. I like how one of the, the Kongs just becomes another spider. Like, get barrel, Kong becomes spider. Very strange. We just get used to these weird things because video games are just weird, and we are used to weird things. Like I said, you might even be used to me being weird. Maybe miss the G? Easy enough.
Penny, you should have done the bonus in this level. It's the best one. I mean, I didn't... I didn't know where it was. Someone said this sounds like tubular bells. It kind of does. The hitboxes in this level will anger you. It's funny because I was talking about, um... Mike was like, what are you playing lately? I said, Donkey Kong Country 3. He was like, you'll love the hitboxes. Or, no, he didn't say that specifically because we were talking about just rare games and his disdain for Donkey Kong Country hitboxes in general. And, um... I don't know, I defended the games. I'm like, nah, I love Donkey Kong Country. Specifically, two. But one is great, too. And he's like, nah. Just doesn't like the hitboxes, I guess. He only played one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was telling me he didn't play two. I feel like two is the best of the original three. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I saw that. I saw that hitbox. But, um... I told him, I was like, you might like two. Two feels, like, better. But, yeah, they, these games do have some interesting... Just by nature of the visuals, I feel like there was some, some wonk in the hitbox department. I don't disagree with that. But... Even so, it was never... As a kid, it was never a problem enough to not play the games. Not much is when you're a kid. Oh, man. I don't know, I rented some real shit. There were times where I, like, discovered that not all video games were as good as Mario and Zelda. And I had to find that out the hard way, but it took me a little while. It took me a while. At first, I didn't know the difference. And then, like, the world stopped being so cheerful when I discovered, oh, games can be bad. It's like, the, the magic got sapped out of my world at that moment, you know? It's like, how could this be bad? The cover was so- Oh, no! How could this be bad? Because the cover was so good, and I rented it from Blockbuster, and that was five dollars. I mean, it was a way to try different games. Five dollars. It's like... very least, you know, I couldn't, like, afford a lot of games, but I was able to rent a lot of games. So that was helpful. I mean, this is nostalgia for renting, but... And I've done this before, I've talked about Blockbuster, but yeah, I definitely went to Blockbuster a lot as a kid. And I always tried to, um, if I rented a game another time, I always tried to get the same one that had my save file on it. Sometimes people would name their save, their save characters something, like, gross, like, fuck.
any games I randomly rented at Blockbuster that I found to be a hidden gem. Joe and Mac. That was a really good one because I got to play with my uh, cousin and we were able to play co-op because we were always looking for good co-op games. So Joe and Mac was kind of fun. Um, a game that I rented that I didn't realize was shit at first was Zool. It was fine. It was the most... It was, like, on the border of shit. Is this the cousin you threw up because of? Yeah. Yeah. So, Zool ended up being not so great. I ended up really, um... I, there's a game called Hurley's Big Adventure. Oh, that's great. And it was like, you're a small dude and you throw nails? I, I played it on stream just to... Like... You know... Show the... The channel. This terrible game I rented. Alright, I say terrible, but... My memories of it are more that it was very mediocre. What was the other one? Um, Rocco's Modern Life. I fucking hated that game. Is Cranky getting better each time? Cranky is hard as sin by the end of the game. Okay. I'm also getting worse. Yeah, that's true. Alright, I think uh, we can pass on, on Cranky. I'm gonna go to Bleak's house now. Yeah, the Rocco's Modern Life Super Nintendo game was pretty bad. Oh, God. Frankie was preparing us. And they're a little bit too close. Good. Ha 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 
Got it. Got this. Got this. Good day to you, Dixie. How are you? Name's Barter. You see me washers? Opposing funky fellow's been acting a bit weird lately. I swear he's been working on some super secret project, but I reckon it's just some silly pipe dream. Grubby? Well, my hands might be a bit dirty, but how do I know you're not lying about my face? Alright. I thought we were gonna... had the seashell forever and still haven't gotten given it to the bear in the first area. Is this like a, a trading quest? Can you do a Canadian accent, Vinny? Oh, uh, I don't know, eh? Had to add the A, otherwise we wouldn't know. Across the grounds I saw a sign which said keep right off our land, so I ran off. Fucking chatty with its errors. In the first world, the one on the right. What do you mean over here? is friendly. Um, finish me collection. That's great. Take the bird. Great. Now what? I have a bird I have to take care of. They go to the save cave. Listen, I don't need an excuse to go see Wink Wrinkly Kong. Birds unlock a special ending, but you won't get it without a hundred percent. You see what Wrinkly wanted? She wanted the banana bird and a kiss goodbye. <laughs> 
this bird doesn't spit. What makes a spit noise? Is- oh. God damn it! Vinny, can you do a backflip? As a- as a kid, I attempted a backflip many times. If you're talking about real life. Anyone else think, when they were young, that old people were just always old? Like, of course you learn that they were young, but it didn't really matter because time went so slow. Like, you, you didn't see people age in real time. So people were just, like, either young people or old people. Yeah, but as a kid, you're kind of dumb. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. Wasn't there some kid who said that, like, he remembered, like, being in, like, a war or something in his previous life? Like, he was in, like, World War II. And, like, he remembered the exact way that some dude, like, died in war. It's some crazy fucking past life shit. As I've said about past lives, I don't... I don't really have a lot to say other than... A lot of past life stuff, maybe this one aside, because it's not particularly glamorous. They're always like Cleopatra. Or like... Sir, this is a Donkey Kong stream. Yeah, but like, they're always like some important, like, historical figure. Like, I was King Tut in a past life. You know how many people were Cleopatra in a past life? Thousands. Thousands across the globe. Which leads me to believe that there are just, like, thousands of souls within all of us. Because that's true. I believe them when they say that. And then sometimes, those past lives are actually future lives. Because when you're a ghost, you can time travel. <laughs> and you can, like... You can die in, like, 1998, and then be, like, respawned in... Like, um... I don't know, 1623. It can happen. Except you don't hear about those past lives. Which leads me to believe that the whole thing is a sham. Time is a flat circle. Merv. Merv Griffin. How's Merv Griffin in a past life? I was the king of dog shite in my past life. Whenever my extra life situation looks dire, I usually end up finding a couple somewhere. Oh. 
Vinny stop being a coward and answer as to what happens to the guy whose past life was literally Hitler. You squashed him two weeks ago in your living room. Someone said, I knew I was destined for great things, yep. When Tommy Wiseau said in his movie The Room, his famous film, about love, loss, or as he likes to say, his dark comedy movie. When he says, do you understand life? More and more, the older I get, the more I understand that line. Meaning, no, I don't particularly understand life. It's almost as if it's somewhat unknowable. people that think they were an anime character in a past life like a fictional anime character but are like convinced like that must throw a whole a wrench in the whole fucking thing at that point because then people are literally like tulpaing their own past lives by creating fiction damn shit's crazy Yeah, I don't understand life. If I ever meet Tommy Wiseau again, like a signing or whatever, or through Greg or however it ends up going, yes, I'm gonna just say, dude, you were so right. I don't, you know what, haha. -ha. I don't understand life. There's UFOs over New York, and I ain't too surprised. gives chase. It's a weird fucking level, but I don't dislike it. The bird controls are a little bit better than I would have expected, too. Like, I guess I know the DKC2 uh, bird controls, but... Yeah, I mean, this is, this is definitely doable. fuck that was.
I panicked. I fucking panicked. Oh, man. No, never mind. Fuck this level. God damn it, chat. Doing just fine. Just doing okay. That was almost a banjo kazooie noise. And yes, I was a weird kid, and this was the type of shit I did, like when playing video games when I was younger as well. Uh, here's the thing <laughs> if you end up making a living playing video games, you don't need to stop the weird noises. It's, it really, I mean, this is going to sound insane because weird noise and loud equals funny, I know, but it, it's not even a conscious thing. Like, it really isn't. It's just an emotional outburst of video game happenings. It's weirdly legit. Wow, it was right there. It was right there. The rope was right there, chat. The rope. Give in to your video game happenings. I've absorbed the spontaneous weird noise making habit that you from you over the last decade. I'm I'm sorry. Like on some level, I want to contribute something positive to the world. I have a very weird viewpoint of of, like, um, what I do for a living versus, okay, I want to at least make some people laugh or forget about how terrible things are, because I do the same thing. That's what the stream is for, is to, yeah, once in a while we talk about past lives, and that's kind of interesting. It, oh, fuck, rope is burning. But, um, I just am sorry that if... <laughs> If you're watching the streams and the thing you get from them is weird noise making habit. You know, maybe there's some more in there too, I hope. I just want to contribute something somewhat positive while I do the things that I love. And also uh, make a strange noise. I, I don't know. These things don't have to be mutually exclusive. <laughs> oh. Love seeing that checkpoint.
Oh, the rope actually damages you too. Oh, I guess it's on fire. That makes sense. It's kind of a clever platforming mechanic for the Super Nintendo. It for this little amount of bananas. Your hitboxes are huge! Not going for whatever bonus area. All right, let's do it. Oh, oh no! Oh, God! I went through so many emotions in the span of three seconds or less. Little did I know, hitting the checkpoint was just the beginning. You can't switch between the Kongs while you're on the rope either. I just I keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting that I have to rush that one. again. I, I failed that section. lives left, do I?
Just hit the very edge of that bee. Zero lives left. Here we are. Be patient. I want to be, but some of these do not reward patience. Like that one. Dixie Kong wouldn't have gotten killed by that motherfucker. Yeah, why are they both in a baby crib? Can you crawl around on the floor like a baby? It would be so beautiful. So beautiful. Crawl around. On the ground. After the song, you can press buttons to play music. Oh, that's nice. The reward is the creative act. However, if, you, if you're in a game over, you're either angry or sad, so the only music that comes out of it is just like, piss baby music. Wow, oh, that was quick. Any compliment I've given this level, I'd like to just rescind. This is one of those levels that just burns itself into your retina. Like, if I played this as a kid, I would remember this one very distinctly.
At least I think I would. It's hard to say anything with certainty. confirm this level lives rent-free in my childhood trauma. That's nice. Please. Yeah, now I'm just getting impatient and sloppy. And you wouldn't like it when I'm sloppy. Because my eyes are wide focused open. Once again, Chad, I've had a very long day, and we are ending the night with Donkey Kong Country 3, so just going to go ahead and say, don't expect too much. Not like you were, but uh, even in terms of commentary, I think at this point, I'm just going to try to complete the level. I don't, I don't have anything else to say right now. This rope is, is making me act unwise, and not in the good way. Also one of those things where you, you kind of nail it on the first try and then you get stuck on a part. This happens a lot in video games with me. Oh great. Well, I think, yeah. Yeah, I've got one life. <laughs> I've got one life! Oh, no. And there's not enough banana on this level to continue getting more life. Okay, okay. What? What is this? What is this? Oh, thank God. Oh, God, I thought I had to continue going up. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 
Holy shit. Yeah, it was the coin fellow. Fuck. How many years did that take from your life? What the- that moment? At least a couple weeks. The entire level? I, I'm gonna say like a month. It's okay, I don't- I don't want those years at the end anyway. They ain't the best years, is what I'm trying to say. No, don't- don't worry, everybody. I can't wait to push rope in the retirement home and remember the rope level from Donkey Kong Country 3. That sounds like a great life, and then I just fucking, like, perish. <laughs> just perish. <laughs> Do you hate this game yet? No, I don't hate it. I actually don't hate the game. There's enough Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 in here, and some clever, genuinely clever moments that I, I... I can't bring myself to hate it. I don't like that fish's face, however. Sounds suspiciously like Diddy Kong. <laughs> hey, them's is good assets. Use them if you got them. Piss in a bucket. I'm thinking you could probably rhyme bucket with fuck it, but not like f the copulation act. I'm talking about like just, just, you know, when life has just got you at a point and you're just like, fuck it. That kind of thing. So I'm, I'm working on the concept of this new song that I developed about 15 seconds ago, but I just know it's going to have bucket and fuck it in the lyrics. Rhymes with cl clamato, like clamato juice. Tomato. Yeah, but like I'm not. I'm not in England. I can't just say tomato. I like this song. 
And I do like some of the music in this game more than other music in this game. But, man, after the fucking audio feast... I was gonna say oral feast, but I know that would have been laughed at as if it was like a haha funny joke. But after the oral feast that was aquatic ambience, that's just a real tough thing to top. Like, the song just sounds very slight. Whereas aquatic ambience fills your ears. It's like a symphony. The song is nice, though. I do, I do like the mood that it creates quite a bit. And the sparseness of it actually kind of works in its favor. But how could you not compare this to the David Wise compositions? Those things is fucking unbelievable. think that David Wise's, like, parents or grandparents or whoever were named something like Drumplekins? And people were like, Hi, the Drumplekins is out today. That's a stupid name for stupid people, probably. And then someone over in David Wise's ancestry was like, Oi. Fuck I. We're not stupid. It's just a stupid name. Oi, Drumplekins, oi! And then they just changed it to Wise. I'll show you. And then they just, you know, changed the name, and suddenly... Yeah. You're Wise. Did you know that John Cleese's name is actually Cheese? And his father changed it from Cheese to Cleese? Intrusive thoughts? Well, some intrusive thoughts are beneficial to streamers. They make for good material. What do you mean, shut up? That's real. Check it out yourself. There's interviews with him where he was like, my name was Jack Cheese as a kid. Or it could have been, but my father changed it from Cheese to Cleese. What's wrong with Cheese as a last name? I don't know, there was- wasn't that theory a lounge singer? Who covered, like, corn and Disturbed? His name was Dick Cheese or something? <laughs> like, you don't want to be Dick Cheese. Jack Cheese is cool. I think Jack Cheese is just fine. Richard Cheese. Richard Cheese. Isn't it weird that Cheese, which is something so incredibly like, delicious. It goes with so many different things. It has a reputation that when something is cheesy, it's, like, kind of cheap and, like, maybe not that, you know, like, like, guilty pleasure, kind of, maybe. But cheese is not a guilty pleasure. It's just a pleasure. Cheese is a wonderful thing. Again, and if you're lactose intolerant, which when I was a kid, I thought it was lactose intolerance, but I've learned since then, at least in, in the past couple of years, that it's not, in fact, that. I didn't save. So if I- wait, if I die, I have to do that water level again?
And yes, I know Evelyn Fisher did some songs in DKC1. And also the voice of Joanna Dark, but I'm just saying, it's a hard act to follow, DKC2 in particular. She's doing a fine job, and there's some really decent songs on the soundtrack that I will remember. Vinny, why, why are we choking this poor parrot? I often wonder the same thing. Wait, no one's choking the parrot. Where are you getting that from? We're, the, the parrot is just lifting us to a different place. Somewhere even higher. That fucking Rem Lazar hat was in um, one of the recent Red Letter Media videos. On some level, I just had this thought that they didn't want to have anything to do with him. I don't know, it's a, it's a dumb thought, but I just figured they wouldn't reply to his emails or whatever. But it's nice that they they managed to get in touch, or rather he managed to get in touch with them and send, send one of his Rem Lazar hats. You know about the uh, McDonald's Land, Air, and Sea Burger? It's a secret menu item. It looks like this level is is kind of sponsored by McDonald's Land, Air, and Sea menu item. So it's a uh, a burger, beef, land, cow, it's chicken. It's got their chicken thing on there. That's chicken, which can fly. See, like that's air. And then C is the filet of fish. Like, must we assert our dominance over the animal kingdom so... so definitively that the master of each domain would be put upon a sandwich for us to consume? master of the earth. Ever think it's weird that uh, magic mushrooms grow on cow shit? I don't know, that sounds pretty altering to me. Especially if the stoned ape theory is true. <laughs> I fucking hate the name of that theory so much. But if mushrooms helped to foster evolution, then wouldn't it not stand to reason that cows are vital to our existence and maybe even masters of their respective domain and that the mushrooms the psilocybin grows upon their shit what's magic about their cow shit i don't know clearly there's a lot we don't know clearly there's a lot i don't know any cows are holy in some religions that's right see i'm telling you chat don't you question cows some weird video i saw of a cow sucking another cow's udder while that cow in turn was sucking its own uh, its udder it's weird oh uh, the elephant's gone what happened yeah it was just strange i don't know they were like I think it was like an infinite milk machine kind of thing. Perpetual energy device of some kind. It's really, really cool. Oh, fuck. Is that spider gone? Oh, fuck.
fine. Just complete the level. Vinny, can we gift you subs to not talk? I don't even read the chat. What is that going to accomplish? I, I absorbed your chat message through osmosis. No, that's being projected into my brain. He's inventing chat members again. Next, you're gonna tell me I didn't see a video of two cows giving milk to each other. Apparently that's bad. I was reading that that's not good if they do that. They actually have to, like, get rid of the cow at that point. Or, like, you know, set it free or something. Do cows even go free? I don't know what they do with them themselves, but... Yeah, I hear that that's not good if if, uh, if a cow is, is, um, is doing stuff like that. It's bad. Mad cow disease? Yeah. Remember when, wh wh who was it, Luigi was hanging off that, like, giant cow's udder in the Mario show? Yeah, that was real weird. I don't think that was the real Luigi, though. I'm pretty sure that was the clone. Extra lives, Swanky. Ropey Rumpus? Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna be shooting some fucking ropey gobs lately. I think a ropey gob is just a goblin that likes to climb ropes. my famous speed runs. I made it past that before, no problem. And, 
and it, and it's over. Now, now, all of that skill and luck is is gone, wiped from the mortal coil. I can't change Kongs for some reason. I was really ridiculously close to finishing that level in one try. And quickly, too. Jesus. That's not happening. back to the save point, but, well. Do you ever think you might be getting too old to play video games? Bitch, are you kidding me? Did you see? my performance in that level. Sure, I, I, I blew it at the last second. Listen, at the end of the day, if my reaction time speeds down more and more and more, I could always play that Dwarf Romantique game, or however the fuck you say it, and slay the Spire. I don't need any quick reactions to play games like that. Did he just call a chat member bitch? No, that must have been the wind. It's windy. Alright. What shit box is this? Oh, fuck you. This is the dumbest fucking thing. Ah! 
y es Hitbox. Hitbox es brillante, brillante, Hitbox, oh, brillante, Hit. Skillishu, Skillishu, Buti has the Skillishu. Don't un like you, you hit these ones in the spikes, but if you hit them in the middle, it doesn't work. The little ones? Did they redo this boss for the GBA version? Because some chat members are saying they did. Yes. Hmm. They replaced it. Oh, so they realized they made a dog shit boss and they just replaced it. I see. They moved it to a new area. Oh. Okay, I was about to say I feel vindicated. Now I don't. mouth. Can you- can you die? Thanks. Last world? Really? Okay. Well, it's also time to stop the stream. Still didn't take nearly as long as the spider. To be fair, I didn't know there was a game mechanic that I needed to use. A very specific game mechanic, I just didn't think of it. This game has robust bonus world. And how much extra stuff do you have to do to get that bonus world? Lots. You can put in a code. Even so, I, I don't think I really care. Gotta be honest. One stage per 15 bonus coins. Well, I have some bonus coins. Maybe we could check out a couple. You could download a 100% save file to my NSO account. Hmm. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Uh, I don't think I really need to. I'll tell you what. Let's see what happens after I finish the game. And then maybe I'll consider it. Just to take a look at some levels. But whatever levels I can unlock with my current amount of coinage, I'm fine with just checking those out. But yeah, Thursday. Gonna finish the game. It has not been a terrible experience by any means. But there have been some frustrations, and some of it is definitely skill issue. Excuse me. I actually... I actually belched while I was saying the word skill. Um, I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. Sorry about that. I am, at the end of the day, not just an MP3 on the internet. Sometimes I am actually a human being, and bodily functions are not the most fun. Norts knows. He's been watching this entire time. D d seriously, this alien has seen some shit. He's literally just sitting here watching the screen. Every time I stream. But anyway, uh, sorry Norts that you had to hear that. So yeah, game will be finished Thursday. Like I said, uh, at 9pm I'll be around... 9pm Eastern on Thursday with something a little special that is not Zelda. 
And then um, after that, I will be finishing this game. And then Friday morning, I'm going to pick up Zelda and I'm going to clear out my schedule and spend as much time as I can tolerate on Friday playing Zelda. So, and streaming it, streaming it. So, uh, good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. What I didn't get to say on Sunday was I'm very appreciative for the amount of people that like what I do. And I appreciate the subs when they happen and the various other ways that you support my musical and uh, streaming endeavors. It's very kind of you. And um, thank you. It's good. It's good. And just to answer the question, yes, I am going to too many games. And yes, I am signing. I don't have exact times yet, but we're going to be working on that. Going to be figuring that out soon. All right. Going to go. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, mods, by the way, for help, as always. And uh, see you later.